Hello, I am Destiny and I would like to share some key information with you about George S. Counts and his influence on education in the service of social change. George Counts was both a teacher and activist who believed schools had the power to change society and should by the hands of teachers. Publicly claiming this opinion made him a leader of social reconstructivism in education. Counts did not just wake up one morning and decide to reform American education. He was well trained, educated, and experienced. He was born on a farm in 1889 as George Sylvester Counts, and he attended public school growing up followed by a post-secondary education in teaching and sociology. He invested the following years of his life to teaching others about education at various colleges and universities. His work is published in several books. Among them, the most popular is Dare the School, Build a New Social Order, in which he challenges teachers to teach for political purposes and educate students for massive changes in science, industry, and technology. Some of the recurring themes of his work include the following. Social and economic forces in American education, his disapproval of the interests of upper-class elites dominating high schools and school boards, the Great Depression, uh, which he lived through and he attributes to the lack of planning by the U.S. He also proposed planned collective economy for schools in which they would be publicly owned and controlled by a central authority. He also believed teachers should lead society and that teachers impact society and humanity. His philosophies include social reconstructivism, progressive education, and critical pedagogy. His ideas about education were greatly influenced by his travels and extensive studies of the Soviet education system. Also, he was influenced by the Great Depression, his passion for education, and his teaching experience. So now let's dive deeper into each of the philosophies. Social reconstructivism is the idea, the society, the idea that society can be reconstructed through education. So it focused on social questions and curriculum that highlight social reform. The progressive education movement is a pedagogical movement that shifts education from being strongly differentiated by social class to being integrated and student-centered. And we can see that this movement in education is still going on today. There is an emphasis on 21st century skills, integration of entrepreneurship, highly individualized learning in which the needs of each student are focused on, and then, of course, authentic projects that not only relate to the real world, but also connect the students uh, to the real world through their learning experience. Critical pedagogy is a theory that issues of social justice and democracy are one with teaching and learning. So there is a breakaway from oppression and then a focus on critical consciousness which encourages individuals to incite change in society. George Count's theories are still supported and criticized today. Uh, some of the influences that we can still see are the government's involvement in elementary and secondary schooling, project-based learning, higher order thinking skills, a focus on STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and then using authentic activities in the learning process. Also, a fun fact is that the creator of the Teachers Appreciation Week 
was influenced by Count's books, which led him to write a letter to Eleanor Roosevelt, who was able to persuade Congress to proclaim the week in celebration of outstanding teachers. Lastly, I would like to leave you with a quote from one of Count's books, and that is, educators cannot evade the responsibility of participating actively in the task of reconstituting the de democratic tradition of thus working positively toward a new society. So, in conclusion, as an educator, are you fulfilling your duties to your students and society? Thank you.